Wigan put last weekend's Headingley defeat firmly behind them to claim a third win in four matches. It was a night for teenagers at the Willows. Sean Ainsco going over in the corner after former red Andy Coley's offload had sent George Carmont clear. The 19-year-old winger selected ahead of Amos Roberts turned provider next, taking Mark Riddell's pass before raiding the Salford right and handing on to Thomas Luluai for the Kiwi World Cup winner's second try of Super League 14. Fellow world champion Jeremy Smith's grubber kick allowed another talented youngster on show, Salford's Richard Myler, to put the Reds on the board. But two sensational tries from a third were the highlights of the match. Wigan standoff Sam Tompkins had only made his first Super League start a fortnight before, but produced the sidestep of a veteran to leave four Salford defenders trailing in his wake. When Pat Richards took Tim Smith's pass to power over from close range, his third try of the season put Wigan 22-6 in front, and after the break, all four teenage scorers would double up. Tompkins celebrated his 20th birthday three days early with a sensational second shortly after the restart, seizing on a loose ball to scorch 50 metres down the touchline for Wigan's fifth, followed by Ainsco, who cut inside to bag his sixth try in five matches after great work from skipper Sean O'Loughlin. Salford produced an excellent try of their own as halfbacks Smith and Myler combined again, the Kiwi hitting the hole at exactly the right time before finding Myler in support to extend his try per match Super League ratio. But the Warriors sealed victory with another breathtaking length of the field effort. Pat Richards was only five metres from his own line when he took possession, but the island winger motored past three defenders before showing great strength to evade international teammate Carl Fitzpatrick. A desperate pass as he was headed for touch, bounced kindly for Thomas Luluai, whose second left Salford with just one win from their opening six games. The Reds stay 13th, having played a game more than bottom club Celtic.